Hi everyone, welcome to our channel today. We're diving into how to set up OpenPN Access Server on Ubuntu 22.04. Grab a coffee, and let's get started. Setting up your own VPN server has several advantages compared to using commercial VPN services. Here are some compelling reasons. When you use a commercial VPN service, you're shifting trust from your ISP to the VPN service provider. With your own VPN, you have complete control and assurance of where your data is going and who has access to it. Even if a commercial VPN provider claims a no-logs policy, there's no definitive way for end-users to verify this. To get started you will need a VPS server where you can install your OpenVPN server. I will recommend Kentabo or DigitalOcean VPS servers, but you can also use your own server at home or anywhere. The installation procedure is the same, just that with a VPS you are assured the server is always on 24-7, 365 days. The links to the various VPS servers you can choose from are in the video description. Once you purchase a Contabo VPS server, you will get a dashboard like this where you can manage your servers. First things first, open a terminal and connect to your VPS server. If you are on a Windows machine, you can use an SSH tool like PuTTY to connect. Enter the root password for your VPS and press Enter. Before you begin with the installation it is always a good idea to update your system so run the following command. Running this refreshes the list of available packages from the repository. This ensures you have the latest metadata about what packages can be installed, what updates are available, and so forth. When you run this command you're instructing the system to upgrade all of the installed packages to their newest versions based on the package lists you refreshed with the previous command. Add the OpenVPN Access Server repository to your Ubuntu system by running this long command. Don't worry the links to the commands are in the video description. Next, import the OpenPN Access Server GPG key to Ubuntu system so that apt can verify package integrity during installation. Also, run this command. This command is setting up your system to be able to fetch software packages securely over HTTPS. Installing these packages is often a prerequisite step when adding new repositories that use HTTPS or when you need to download software from sources that are signed with SSL certificate. Run the update commands again. This will update the package index on your Ubuntu system. Finally, we can install the OpenVPN Access Server by running this command. The process will take some time so just be patient. Once the installation concludes, the URLs for both the admin and client panels will be available, along with the username and an auto-generated password for the admin account. Take note of everything here or copy it to a notepad. Great, now, let's access the OpenVPN Access Server's web user interface. Open a browser and navigate to the admin address given to you. Since a certificate is not installed yet you will receive a warning just proceed. Enter the username and the auto-generated password. You can change the password when you log into the dashboard. Read the license then click on Agree to proceed. Now what you need to do is create VPN users. Go to User Management then User Permissions to create a new username. Allow auto login for the new user. Also click on More Settings to set a password for the new user. Click the Save Settings button when done. Then click the Update Running Server button to apply the changes you have just made.
There are so many other configurations that you can do on your OpenVPN server, I can't show you everything in this video. Check the article in the video description for other configs you can do. For most users, the default settings are adequate, but you can modify configurations like VPN settings, server network settings, and user permissions as per your requirements. For your clients to connect, they need the OpenVPN client software and the profile settings. Direct them to this address with your own IP or domain name. They can log in, download the software, and their connection profile depending on what operating system they are using. I will use a Windows machine to connect to the VPN server, so I will download the client software for Windows. I'm now on a Windows machine let me install the OpenVPN client software I just downloaded and try to connect to the server. Plus remember to select a location you want to connect from when purchasing your VPS. If you want to connect from the USA change location to any city in the USA. Everything is already set up for you all you need to do is to switch on the button and you will be connected via VPN as simple as that. Before we switch on the VPN let us check my current IP address and location. As you can see my current location is Zambia, a country in the southern part of Africa near Zimbabwe and South Africa. Let us switch on the VPN and see if it works. We are now connected it even shows the IP address of my VPS. Let me refresh the page and see the location where I'm connected now. As you can see it shows German. When buying the VPS I choose Europe as my location. And there you have it, a successfully set up OpenVPN access server on Ubuntu 22.04. Remember to check OpenVPN's documentation for advanced configurations and troubleshooting. If this guide helped, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll be back with more tech tutorials soon. Stay connected.